What's up YouTube, uh, Craig here, RC Beast Mode. Uh, the reason for this video is the 55.2 Spur Gear for the Fortec 2.0, the uh, Hot Racing. Again, Hot Racing, Fortec 2.0, 55.2 Spur Gear has issues. The 55.2 Spur Gear had a lot of slop in it and there was no... See back there how I have a bearing? I have a bearing here and a bearing there. Before I had that bearing, there was a lot. Now I see there's no slop. Look, uh, no, nothing. No slop at all now. But I'll get right back with you and I will show you what the problem is. There's no, they don't give you no spacer or nothing. When I got this spur gear, brand new, there was no spacer there. There was just slop back and forth. Uh, I'll show you as soon as I get this off what I'm talking about. All right, I got the screws taken out. Uh, now I'm going to show you what the problem is with this 55 tooth hot racing spur gear it's fixable if you have an extra bearing laying around uh i don't know the exact size of the bearing but most people that do rcs will well no i do rcs but i just do not know i do got a ruler over there i can try to do my best but uh hold on one second All right, here's the bearing I put on there. It does not come with a bearing. You just don't. It does not come with a bearing. I put this on here to take up the slack, and it fits into this pretty good. It does, pretty decent. It does. All right, hold on. All right, now I took the bearing off. This is the bearing that I used. It fits on this shaft, and it fits perfect in there. There we go. And it looks like it's about one millimeter. It does, I guess. But uh, there you go. That's the measurements you're going to need for the uh, bearing for the 55 tooth. Now, let me put this back on here and show you what I'm talking about. In hot racing, if you're watching this, this is my second spur, 55, because as you see, I was, it was grinding. I'll show you. It was too much fun. Here it is, back on, without the bearing. Everything's tight on here. Look. This slot is crazy. This is with no bearing, guys. Look at that. And if you put your motor on there... It's going to just slide up and down as it's going. So, uh, be cautious when you buy this 55 tooth spur gear from uh, Hot Racing. I don't know if they have new up-to-date ones that has a spacer back here, but the one I got from Hot Racing, the 55 tooth spur for the Fortec 2.0s, as you see... You do not want your car going fast with it like this. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Have a happy holidays.